So when that second 9-11 happens in Philadelphia, here's how you get a hold of Jonathan Click for questioning. JK at JonathanCleck.com and he used to have this radio station or I guess it still is a blog. I don't think it does anymore. Just notice how it's the 7th of the 8th hour. You can also reach him at uh, Justin TV, Jonathan Cleck, or www.blogtalkradio.com. This is it. 10, 10, 10, 11, 10, 12, 10, 13, 10, 14. You can come hang out with him. See, he used to be... What he did was he took over when Harold Camping uh, retired October 21st of 2011. It's coming up. Ten more days will be the eighth year, the seven and of the eighth year since Harold Camping retired. So this guy took over with the same time slot. You can also seize his bank account, um, his PayPal bank account, which is jk at jonathancleck.com. And then, well, I'm sure you guys know how to find her, Hillary Clinton, the one that's playing the, the from the top mouthpiece, elite mouthpieces, I'm hearing that she, they're trying to bring her in as the, the woman sitting on uh you know revelation the 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 woman in what scarlet yeah i think that's what it is it's good to be home and then you know where to find him if i had told you eight years ago that america would reverse the great recession reboot our auto industry and unleash the longest stretch of job creation in our history all three are playing a specific role in the Bible. He's playing the Antichrist in the mainstream. And Hillary is playing the, uh, the woman, the scarlet woman, the whore that sits upon uh, many uh, wooders or something. And then, um, but Kleck is really playing him. He's just the high profile puppet. Click is actually the one that's playing him, and then the one that's and the one that Click is playing is Stephen James Sean. But for now, I would just like these three to be locked up. As soon as that nine eleven happens, uh, give them what I'm what I'm saying is just give them three and a half days to feel like they um, they got you know their victory. After like once once they have me locked up for. Trying to be um, trying to get me locked up for conspiracy of the second 9/11 because I'm telling you where I'm getting the information from. They will try to set put me in jail. So what I'm saying is, after three and a half days, give them time to feel like they won because I know they don't. Jonathan Cleck, right? Obama, Hillary, they don't know. They don't know what's getting ready to happen to them. And, and Kleck, he truly just believes that because he was promised and he has the surveillance and he's, you know, he's on the inside. He's been in the Air Force and he's a skydiver and he has a military behind him and all that stuff. Because of that reason, he feels invincible. I looked in the index of my Bible for wheat, Matthew 3, 12, or something else referring to wheat. So when the page flipped open to this to bring me home, home a point. Next picture, 5490. Okay, there it is. So look at the very bottom, 5490. Conclusion in. What was my prayer on the way to the post office? Lord, could you please show me? I you're going to be, you're going to be, <laughs> what's your prayer going to the police station? It's going to be different than this prayer. But he doesn't believe that anything can happen to him because he's been promised. And he feels like the FBI, the NSA, the CIA are all paid off. And there's nothing that they can do. 
What he doesn't realize is, as soon as that 9-11 happens that he absolutely knows about, um, all it takes is, like when I'm in jail, the only thing it takes is for one agent, NSA, FBI, CIA, any one of you guys, it takes one person to take one of my videos to go to the authorities that you know, you guys know where to go to put that information out there. And that's what brings this guy down. Because he's not, what I'm doing is I'm relying on God to take care of it. And when I say I'm relying on him, some things you leave in his hands. This is something you leave in his hands afterwards that I'm leaving in his hands because I'm relying on his energy to flow through other people that are truly sick of this shit and what and this mockery that this guy is doing right in our face. So when you guys actually go and hold him responsible for it, he will not, he will think that you, I mean, he's like, you can't even make that up, right? He's going to think you guys are joking. But when you put the handcuffs on him and then put him in the, in the, uh, in the back of the car, he's going to start crying like a little girl. He will. Because he's going to realize that his hopes and dreams and aspirations, everything is over. It's over, Johnny. Like, it's over. You're not taking down Philadelphia. You are not taking down Philadelphia. You might be able to wound it. You can wound it. You're going to wound it. Because that's what the second 9-11 is for. The banks are closed on Monday, Columbus Day. So there's not going to be that many people around. But people can still get injured possibly killed if if they truly don't give a shit. So when Philadelphia gets hit and it gets a wounded head, but it does live because the bank system, the banks are the targets, target uh, a building eight. I'll show you a couple more things that lines up to that building being number eight. But when it rises back up again, because what they're trying to do is collapse it. If they start, if they hit the banks first, it'll collapse it. And what they plan on doing is they're going to blame it on ISIS. It's going to be missiles coming from ISIS that's going to hit Building 8 at Philadelphia, the John F. Kennedy Boulevard, JK, John F. Kennedy Boulevard, 17th, 17 years that he claims to be doing this uh, ministry, I guess. So the 8th, 7th, and of the 8th, the, well, there he is. There he is, the 7th and of the 8th. This character is playing out Lucifer. In real life, he's playing this out because he's the high-profile YouTube channel that is the top candidate to run as the uh, next top messiah. That's who he's trying to... He's trying to get that position, but he's also believing he's Lucifer in the flesh when he's he's deceived from all angles. And when this does happen, remember, three and a half days. Let him get three and a half days, please. Fulfill Bible prophecy. Let him get three and a half days. And then after three and a half days, you can interpret that how you want. And after three and a half days, the breath of life enters back into God's witnesses and great Fear falls upon them that see them. Those that are watching great fear. And then the remnant, because there's a there's a portion that gets slain, that's 7,000. 7,000, they're going to they're gonna try to say that 7,000 people died in this uh, second 9-11, I believe. Or the earthquake that happens. They'll probably say 7,000 people died in Israel. Or the Israelites, 7,000 people died. But the remnant were frightened and gave glory to God. There's a reason why. Here's the only logical explanation as to how this guy here can actually turn to God and repent. It's if 
he, they wound Philadelphia. They collapse the, the economy, the banking system, and start with the market of beasts. Because he's going to make a video tomorrow. He's making it right now. He's making it now, and he'll come up tomorrow. How do I know he's making it now? Because I can see him. So, he's making it now. And again, you can interpret that how you want, how I can see him. How do I see him? Do I literally see him? Or do I spiritually see him? Can I tell what he's doing? Do I know that he's going to make a video tonight and bring it out tomorrow so all his people can hear him for the, the one last time? Or is he playing, uh, or is he hiding? Is he in hiding where there's three and a half days? But see, he did that before. It didn't work. So I, he, can't, he can't do that again that way. It would have to be an actual news story that Click was involved in some kind of parachute accident and that he died and they came back to life. But when it happens in Philadelphia and he's responsible for it and, um, and he's looking to shut me up, let's just face it. This guy here knows exactly who I am and he knows that I'm on his ass and he doesn't like it. That's why he's so snarky and so confident because he's been promised everything. What he doesn't understand is how God truly does work. My faith, I'm leaving my faith in God's hands. Some things I leave it up to him, but I'm not leaving, you know, these people lying and, and be like, oh, you know what, God will take care of, God will handle, no, no, no. No, I will handle what I can to show the evidence, the proof beyond a reasonable doubt that this guy is involved and knows what the freaking world script is. And he is not in repentance mode. I see something different in Stephen James to Sean. I see that he, is, he has the repentance in him. But he, he's not going to tell you that until after this is over. But I, I don't like Johnny Click right now at whatsoever. I don't like his deeds that he's doing because they're dirty as shit. And he needs to pay for it. So the way I understand how God works is... There's things that he does that, you know, you how do, you cannot even make it up. You cannot even think it up because God thinks it up. And he, and he takes care of business and karma is such a bitch. Karma is, I mean, click, uh, you know, when this happens to you. And on top of that, with me, just by me saying this. When that happens in Philadelphia and you guys let him get away with it for three and a half days and then after three and a half days, the breath of life enters back into the two witnesses. Once that happens and I'm telling him, I, you know, this video is going to be out there because it's before the second 9-11. It's 8.46 p.m. October 11, 2019, just by me saying this alone and then it comes to pass, how can this guy not turn to God? Think about that. He's watching people surveilling them, gang stalking commando here, harassing people that, kind hearted people that are just deceived, led, led astray by this sheep here. You know, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, Justin, Michael, he said he's a werewolf, right? You know, there's werewolves, there's warlocks, there's witches, vampires, werewolves, witches, and and then there's this guy here, warlocks. So you got vampires. You got warlocks, you got witches, and then you got werewolves. I'm a werewolf. I have to admit it. I am a I am a human werewolf. Because what I do is I wear down the wolves. Lock his ass up. That'll That'll turn him to God because he does not think for a second that anything I say or do has any 
holds any water whatsoever. Matter of fact, he thinks he's draining the water that I have. So he doesn't think that I can actually hold water, let alone walk on serpents with my heel and crush their heads as I'm walking on the, the water. The water represents people, nations, and tongues. It's what we are. We're considered the sea. And there's beast that rises up. Some are good, some are bad. This one's bad. I'm looking out for Johnny. I truly want everybody to turn to God. I want them to get a taste of their own medicine for sure. What's going to happen with this second 9-11 that starts? It's going to get people's attention. Everything that's happening now, the power outages in California, they're, they're shutting things down. Of course, it's on the coastline, where the, um, right where they're going to say that the uh, the fault lines cracked it from the from the earthquakes, and it's going to drop into the ocean. But it's not really going to drop into the ocean. But they're going to tell us that, and the people that are there right now, they're just going to tell you that. Um, well, right now they're just they're just cutting your power off. So they're going to tell some people that. You know, North Korea is going to hit uh, our EMP. That's going to be the other reason for New York's. When they tell people in New York, when the tsunami comes, that he is involved with the uh, holographic images, the principality of the air, the air force, the skydiver, the one who skydives as he's as he's putting those things. To, you know that he put those gadgets up in the sky. He's a skydiver. As he's up there doing that, he has his parachute on. Or, you know, the chain link. However they do that thing up in the sky. He's fully responsible for it. So when he doesn't believe that anything that I say or do is going to make a difference. Well, when it does make a difference. <laughs> think about what this guy is going to do and how great it is for him to get a taste of his own medicine because once they once they get like when he locks me up and has the fbi come to my door and raids all my stuff takes everything i have after that happens i'm relying on god to get me out and the way he's going to do that is he's going to use people like uh, the good people that are surveilling for the right reasons he's going to use you guys to speak up because you can see that I don't deserve this shit. I'm doing my work day in and day out. You guys see where I go every day. I go to work eight hours a day. I mean, for the most part. And I drive an hour up or an hour and a half up, depending on traffic. So it's between two to three hours of driving each day, five days a week, eight, eight hours I work. I spend 11 hours wasting my life when I could be doing better things in the world than, than just working and putting, you know, it's it's kind of... I appreciate the job my boss gave me, but I, I, it's it's played out. It's time to move on. So you guys see what I'm doing, in, like my actual work that does follow me. My my work is following me. There's a lot of you that don't know that the second 9-11 is going to happen. It's only people like this that does know. And then the corrupt CIA, FBI, NSA members that are, that are paid off. That's why the economy is going to collapse because everybody that's taking the money, the people in the mafia, everybody, everybody that's getting paid off, the, the YouTube agents that I'm making them rich, I'm supposed to make you rich. I know Steve's saying I'm, I'm making him rich too because he's acting like he's Judas and he's going to betray me and he's going to keep, he's getting rich because of it. I, I get what he's doing, but th this guy here, he needs a taste of his own medicine big time. But he needs to feel like he got victory. He has to feel that way. And then afterwards, once, once you guys put him in jail for 21 days, okay, keep him there for 21 days. Depending on if anybody dies, if anybody dies at this 9-11, he's, he's, there is no 21 days. It's, it's life in prison for him, Hillary, and Barack Obama. He's going to the post office, picking it up his, uh, you know, his 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 uh, 007 agent pamphlet. 
to let people know what where the events are going to take place next. So when they start here, I'll give you some I'll give you some tips, guys. He's going to he has people meeting him at 2:30 a.m. Sunday morning in Philadelphia uh, at a Lowe's. If he's if it's not Philadelphia, then it's where he lives. It's where he's at. In all likelihood, it's probably there. He, he's gathering people together at the Lowe's parking lot, 2.30 a.m. in the morning. So just follow follow him where he goes. The ones that he doesn't think you guys know or can do anything about it, follow him. See where he goes at 2.30 a.m. Sunday morning. And then um, keep track of his, uh, you know, his patterns and what he's talking about and the things that he plans on doing. And then... Um, 8.48 a.m. Monday morning. Keep an eye on the uh, 17th and and uh, John F. Kennedy Boulevard in Philadelphia on uh, on Monday morn, morning. Monday morning uh, at, uh, at October 14th, Columbus Day. Keep an eye on those things. And if something happens like that 9-11, if it does follow through and there's nothing I can do about it to stop it, I can only tell you that's going to happen, then if anybody truly does get hurt or killed, this guy needs to do a very, very long prison sentence if people get hurt and life in prison if one person gets killed. This is mainly where I'm getting my information from with these uh, rice cookers that happened back in August 16th, 2019 in Manhattan. Uh, you have Planet X, Second 9-11, or Philadelphia marks the spot, X marks the spot. You have the 7 and of the 8th Get the seven and of the eighth. Jonathan Kleck, seven of the eighth. Plus he claims to be eight, eight. I think his geometry number is eight, eight, eight. And so you have five, which is the trumpet that they're playing out. Even though the fifth trumpet has already been blown back in 2011, May 21st. 10, 10 wins. 1010, his video, the rapture, 1010, it's the beginning of the countdown, 4, 3, 2, 1. 1010, from 1010 till today, from today till midnight is one full day. Four, tomorrow, Saturday, the Sunday is two full days, which is three, and then in between three and two and three is the bypass. That's the bypass, and that's where his TV was at the uh, at the vet, right in the middle, right between the three and the two bypass. And because it's going to be the second um, second nine eleven, and over here they're just showing you the towers to represent nine eleven. So you get the seven and of the eighth. And then, conveniently enough, as of, uh, I think that's, uh, yeah, it's today. Let me see. I'll, I'll play a clip of it. It's the second spacewalk of the month to replace solar batteries. Do you notice anything about this picture here that's unusually obvious as all hell? So do I.
So this is today. ABC News talking about murder and uh, man arrested. This is the theme now. Man arrested. The man that needs to get arrested, it ain't me. It will be me, but it ain't me. The true man that needs to get arrested is Click. So, but when you see this, just listen to what they're referring to. It's everywhere. Everybody, every, it's everywhere. We learned overnight the victim has now been identified and Smith is being held on a $750,000 bail. It's the second spacewalk of the month and astronauts Andrew Morgan and Christina Karch have floated outside the International Space Station to second Second 9-11. Building 8, 8.48 a.m. They're replacing six solar panels six to represent the six bowls of wrath i'm not making any definitive claims but i find it pretty uh pretty crazy that i'd actually pray and say lord when all this goes down i pray that that guy doesn't have to be here for all this you know whatever's gonna happen because i know no one can probably do it so anyway i find it fascinating that that guy uh, had to be put down today something happened last week i don't know what it was but he just he started crashing very quickly he hasn't eaten in over five days and so he was just going down very quickly so anyway i've been to the emergency vet clinic on sunday which i documented which i talked about in yesterday's video about you know they're about to be unleashed so anyway so i find it interesting i find it fascinating the bible says the foolishness of god is wiser than the wisdom of men oh i know that's true isn't it strange he had me right i am the door i mean how weird is that years ago and i thought huh why am i doing that well okay i'll do it might as well it's kind of cool that guy's little teeny narrow cat door i find that fascinating so anyway i'm gonna go finish uh go finish the bad cat thing there's uh, six bowls of wrath five and six clicks playing the the fifth and sixth bowls of wrath and Stephen James is playing the seventh bowl of wrath. So let's just get to the point where when 9-11 happens, let's just make sure nothing else happens after that. Because I don't know how you're going to stop it. I don't know how you're going to stop it. But I know you can, you can definitely stop it after it happens. And I've been literally uh, warning... Every single day that I can until it actually does happen. And then after after I get taken seriously, then uh, then we can start to get rid of these, uh, these creatures and, and actually drain the damn swamp. So here's what my bail is going to be. Smith is being held on the 750. <laughs> I tell you what, it's going to be hard for me to get out of prison with that bail because I I can't I just can't pay it. even ten percent. You know I'm not going to have a tough time paying seventy five thousand dollars to get out of jail. That was also found to be just an empty rice cooker. Okay, with that I'm going to introduce the chairman of the MTA, Pat Foy. Pat. Uh, thank you, Chief. Uh, I'm going to be brief. Uh, we're obviously at the corner of John and uh, William. We have In between William Penn Building and John F. Kennedy Boulevard. So, why is he placing them there, and what is the, the purpose of that? So, we put that photo out to our officers uh, on the idea that uh, if he is... Uh Here we go. To the emergency clinic, because he ought to be the highway to where the house is and um came back and when I sat down that man was on and 
and it showed Lex Luthor locked up, and he said, he's coming, ding, 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 ding. The bell's already been rung, he's coming, ding, 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 ding. And um, I'm sitting here looking at these doors. Four, three, two, one. Good morning, everyone. Uh, well, as you heard from the Chief, Chief Delatore, uh, this was uh, a serious incident and we took it very seriously. As soon as our uh, rail control centre was advised of this incident, namely, as the Chief said, at around 7 o'clock, 0700, that there had been these two suspicious packages found on the uh, 2 3 platform here at Fulton Street. Uh, we immediately, acting upon police advice and uh, putting safety first for our customers, we immediately suspended service on line uh, 2 and Three, really and we on police advice and um, uh, putting safety first for our customers we immediately suspended service on line uh, two and three and um, we sus um, we bypassed the movie bypassing as uh, services on the other lines. Uh, as ever, we always put safety first. So um, the police advice was that the uh, service on the lines two and three was to remain suspended. It did so. We evacuated staff out of the stations uh, and we immediately set about providing information via every media or three and two one on the doors. Spread out through our website to uh, announce the to let our customers know. Uh, Until further Fulton Street Station was not observed. In other words, uh, stations, uh, services all lines through Fulton Street, trains would not be stopping. We got the all clear to uh, resume stopping at Fulton Street on all lines except for 2 3 at 0848. Uh, and as of right now, that remains the case. All of the lines are stopping at Fulton Street except for the 2 3, which is still suspending, uh, non stopping rather, still bypassing through the station while the police conduct their scenes of crime investigation. We did have two trains that we had to deal with when that train, uh, when that call for the first coming through. Right, the police that there was the uh, issue on the so it's a chase. We had to to deal with. So again, uh, acting quickly, uh, and uh, I've been credited with the staff and my staff, the tallest uh, uh, building, employees, the professional way that they dealt with this incident. I'd also like to uh, commend New York Police Department for the professional way they immediately identified this as an issue and the way it's they mirror. went about uh, dealing with the, uh, the mirror building and mirror. the bomb squad to make sure that uh, our customers are going to do a mirror. Yes, one of my messages would be 